everyone, Hannah here, welcome back to the channel. So today is Saturday, May the 7th. We are going to Disney Springs this morning because there is an Orange Bird Harvest collection. So I've got my Orange Bird shirt on. I bought this lounge fly yesterday, which I'm gonna take with me because it kind of matches. So that's my outfit for the day. The original plan was to go to a beach, but I will tell you about that in the car. We're in the car on the way to Disney Springs. It's about 8 a.m. now. The original plan today was to go to the Orange Bird release in Disney Springs and then go down to a beach. We haven't decided which beach yet, whichever. However, half four in the morning, a few of us were rudely awoken by our phones blaring an alarm to say there was a tornado warning in the area. There was thunder and lightning everywhere, so there was quite a storm. We didn't see a tornado. I don't think one actually appeared anywhere. There's, it's kind of beautiful outside now. It's really sunny. It doesn't look like it's rained at all, but to err on the side of caution, we've decided not to go to be not to go to a beach just in case. So we're going to go to the Orange Bird release at Disney Springs. We might do some bowling there. We'll have a potter about and just have a relaxed sort of day. We're on the way. We're on the way. Oh look, they've repainted this entrance sign, and there's fifties on either side. Hey, Mickey. This is where we'll be going in a week's time in the Caribbean beach. Oh my goodness. We're just passing the Riviera. We are gonna go around and have a look in there because the last time we came, it opened a couple days after we came home. I don't know if any of this is helping. This is where we are. So we've arrived at the back of Disney Springs. Uh, Mum and Dad had to drop us because we couldn't find the parking, so we are in a queue waiting to get in. There's movement. I think we're being led into Disney Springs because it's nine o'clock now, and I think the store opens at half nine. A little bit of a brisk walk on, goodness me, to get to co-op, which should be just around here. So now we're in another line, kind of around the back. Uh, we've got about 20 minutes to go, I think, and then we can go in. We're in line. Let's just look. So there's, there's security telling people to stop skipping the line and people are saying they have people up ahead and some of them are saying tough. I think they're letting people through if there's children up ahead but apart from that they're just saying nope you've got to get in line. So there's about two groups ahead of us now. They're letting people in group by group. Oh, one group ahead then there'll be a little mini queue inside and then we're in. So we've just made it indoors. I think there's a queue just around here. And then I'm not sure where the merch is. Probably kind of around there somewhere. Oh, and then we can get stuff signed. So we're queuing kind of through the back in the Wonderground art gallery. And we're just admiring some of this beautiful artwork. It's absolutely stunning. There's an enchanted one there. So I might need to buy me the little print. There's a print there and a postcard there. So I think I'm probably going to get one of those as well because Hannah Enchanted, why not? I can see them just through there behind that cast member. There's a little bit of a queue to go, just around this part and then in there. And over this side is where you can get them signed. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look. Oh, tote bag, 178. And then there's this plushy bag for $58. And there's a little bandana for $39. Oh my goodness. So we're just in line because they're going to sign our bags for us. Oh my goodness. So we've made our way back over to the Christmas shop in this little candle section because you can make your own candles for $25. So I think we're going to give this a go. We get to pick up to three cents. We get to glitter, we get to add in, oh glitter, I just said that, and then we get to decorate them. This is on, it's very hot. Ooh. So we've picked our scents, we've put our wicks in. Ooh. I'm making mine for my aunt's 60th. 
Mom is making her own and then Leo is making one for me and him. Now he's trying to do a castle which he practiced on this one. Look how amazing that is. We've got a little paw prints on ours as well for our kitties. So we chose three scents and then we've put all them all together in there. This is heating up so I think this will be the wax. We've stuck the little wicks down to the bottom or you can also have the wooden wicks. Uh, there's a bit of glitter just there which I think is coming near the end. And they do have some stencils in case you're not that confident with drawing it yourself. So you can give it a good swirl around. Tiny dip of the red. Ooh. There we go. So the last part is to add in some sprinkles. So we've done our candles. We now leave for 40 minutes for them to set and then we'll come back and get them when they're done amazing so we've just popped in to the star wars store and i think this is the jersey that was released on may the 4th rebel leader 74.99 have a quick look at the back may the force be with you i'll be with us not with you uh, so still in disney springs we've got to wait 40 minutes for the candles to set and then we can go pick them up we're thinking of quickly going to amaret's bakery to get some stuff uh, and then going to the other side of Disney Springs, which we didn't get to do yesterday. Oh, look! A little Grogu bracelet. That is adorable. Oh, got some magic bands here. And some pins, all sorts of different pins, and some patches. They also have these drinks in here, which I previously only saw in Galaxy's Edge. Six dollars each for those Coke bottles. It is nice in here. I'm looking for, which is probably only in Galaxy's Edge, the Jedi tunic. So we've come into Amaret. I had the Mickey. He did get dropped a little bit, so. But oh my goodness, he tastes so good. Leo had the creme brulee, which is now gone. And Dad had a brownie. I can't remember what Mum had. What did you have? A lemon cheesecake. We are in Disney style. Oh look, so they've got the pretzel lounge fly. I don't see the waffle one. It's still eluding me. This is where a lot of the newer Disney stuff is. Beauty is found within. Do we have a price for you? Fifty-four ninety-nine for this one. Mickey shirt. Oh, I like that Mickey hoodie. I like this one. How much are you? Fifty-nine ninety-nine for that one. I really like this spirit jersey as well. The kind of ombre look down into orange. Ooh, no price on that one. My spirit jerseys are probably around $74.99-ish, I would imagine. Best day ever! How much are you, best day ever? $36.99? More Disney World! Oh, look, it's Cusco! Boom, baby! How much is that? $39.99 for that one. Oh, I do I like this store. Ooh, the, I didn't see these ears anywhere else. Fluffy ears. How much are they? Twenty nine ninety nine for those ears. Some scrunchies, lounge fry items, couple backpacks. What's over the back? Oh, oh my goodness! Look at this. So here's a closer look at the pretzel lounge fry. Still haven't found the waffle one. There it is. Do we have a price on the pretzel? $85. Now it says it smells. One second. Okay, I can't smell anything, but it might be because we're in the store. And there's the matching jersey for that. There is also just there. I'm going to zoom out. A really beautiful picture opportunity. I mean, just look at that. It's so beautiful. As a quick backdrop. And if we carry on. Ooh. Unicorn shirt. Oh, dress, sorry, $59.99. What else can we find? Oh, this is the shirt that I wanted as well. I've seen a sweatshirt that I want, this retro Mickey and Pluto one. Look at this. So, this is the front Mickey and Pluto, and then this is the back, and it's $54.99. 
So we're at the checkout, look up, my happy place. We're at the checkout because more damage has been done. Quickly hopped into the Star Wars shop next door. Anything you can think of Star Wars. Oh, there's Wishables. I think they're new. 14 99 for the Wishables. The Skywalker Academy stuff. T-shirt is 36 99 uh, Her Universe sweatpants. Is there a price? Is there a tag? Oh, I can't see any tags or prices for that one. Some sweatshirts over here. More bottoms. Oh, there's price on this one. $39.99 for these leggings. Oh, look. Little Grogu spirit jersey. And a little Grogu lounge fly. Looks like a wristlet lounge fly. And then a, a funny pack style. And some socks. And then look up. Look at all these decorations. They're beautiful. Right next door to the Star Wars store is this Marvel one. So there's a lounge fly there. $75. It's one of the canvas sort of backpacks. There's a load of different Marvel stuff. Some magic bands over there at the back. Look at all these decorations. Oh, they are quite busy as well. Spirit jersey with all the Avengers on. More lounge fly over there. Ooh, this Doctor Strange hat's nice. Do we have a price on that one? $29.99 for that hat. Doctor Strange zip up jacket. Do we have a price? Oh, there is a tag. Where there is a tag. $64.99 for that one. Oh, another lounge fly backpack. Oh, this one looks like a placement one. Probably 75 bucks again. This is how they turned out. We are back after a very long day. Oh my goodness. Now to relax. Look at these birds. Are they, what are they? Are they ducks? They look like big chickens. They were waiting for us when we got back. So we're back at the villa now. I do just really want to quickly show some of the Orange Bird merch from today. So there's the scarf, which signed. I got all the stuff signed. Uh, this was $38. And then this was, um, it was like a free gift with purchase. So it's like a keychain. I didn't get this signed. With Orange Bird all over. The plushy backpack. Uh, where's the price on this one? Ooh. Oh, here it is. So this one was $58, and they have a little orange bird tag. So he's a plushie, and he has a shoulder strap. And they signed the inside of him for me. So you can see it says Disney Parks Harvey's, and it's from the Vault 50th collection. And then you can see their signatures just there. It's so cute. And then the tote bag. Oh, my goodness. This might be one of my favorite parts. There's little key changes here. Uh, how much was this one? The tote bag was $178 as a retail. And again, they signed the inside just there for me. And this one does come with this kind of big orange shoulder strap. I think the tote bag was a bit of a placement one. Because I saw two next to each other and they had slightly different placements with them. So you can kind of pick what you want. Just look how adorable all of this is so cute so we got to disney springs at about well quarter to nine in the morning now we didn't realize any of the car parks were open so mom and dad just kind of dropped us off at the back of disney springs and there was kind of like a back queue there which obviously you saw earlier which ended up being quicker than if we would have managed to have gotten on the car park because mom said that they parked on the orange car park <laughs> appropriately orange bird they did get in the queue as well because I completely lost Wi-Fi connection. They got in the queue just in case. Obviously, when I got Wi-Fi connection back, it turned out that we were actually before them. So I don't know if that's a tip for future releases. If you go to the back of Disney Springs instead of the car park, I'm not sure. But it was so cute. So yeah, we got there about quarter to nine. We managed to get into the shop and we actually bought the items. It must have been at least half past ten. So even though we were there early, I think because they were only letting kind of two parties in at a time to kind of reduce people crowding and kind of pushing one another and then it was another half an hour well not a full half hour about half an hour wait because afterwards to meet Dana and Melanie you kind of had to scan a QR code and it was like a virtual queue so from when I did that part to then actually meeting them it was about half hour so I met them at about quarter to 12 I think so it was quite a long morning but honestly it was completely worth it and I've just noticed as well this zip puller 
says Walt Disney World because there is a pocket just under there as well. So I'll show you the back. The back is the same, same print. And something that I absolutely adore with Harvey's bags compared to Lion's Fry bags is the bottom has these little feet on them. So you can kind of put them down on the floor and you don't then need to worry about the bottom getting dirty. But it's just, I mean, just look how cute. He's so cute. We are back in the villa. Look. I know I showed him a bit ago, but he's just adorable. I can't get over how cute he is. And it was worth waiting in line for him. He's so cute. I know today's video was a tiny bit hectic with the Disney Spring stuff. It was a little bit manic. But it was so much fun making those candles. Tomorrow is Kennedy Space Centre Day. So that'll be fun. And I think I'm going to test out the GoPro for Kennedy Space Centre as well. I'll do probably two separate videos for Kennedy. One of like the Space Centre itself and then like a separate one of the shop. Because you know I like a good shop video. So for food we went to the Outback. I didn't film any of that because it was actually quite loud in there. We all had steaks because when at the Outback it is a steakhouse. And they were amazing. They were really thick steaks. Normally in the UK, for example, if you have an 8 ounce steak, it's quite thin but long. The ones in the Outback were like really chunky, substantial steaks, so they were really, really nice. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!